Welcome back everyone. We start each lecture with a warm up. The warm ups are about connecting the dots in the big picture of how AI is evolving. This warm up is about transfer learning. We will jump right into the actual content of the lecture after the warm up. Transfer learning is the most important enabler of deep learning. What is transfer learning? The idea of transfer learning is simple. You have a big data set that you call it pre-training task, and you train your model on that task on the big data set. You capture the knowledge, and then you transfer that knowledge to the downstream task you, that you actually care about. This is, at a high level, the idea of transfer learning. Why is that so important? So firstly, think about your favorite AI application. Whether it's vision, language, audio, or whatever, most probably it's using some kind of transfer learning. For example, in computer vision, it's probably doing some transfer learning from Coco or ImageNet or some other data sets. And if it is in language, you build it on top of things such as BERT or GPT or other models. Another method that you can learn why this is such an important subject is the competition between computer vision and language. So at the time that deep learning came into existence, at least in the modern uh, fashion, it was around 2012 with ImageNet competition. At that time, the task of annotating the data for computer vision was a lot easier, mostly because we were caring at that time mostly about supervised training. And for supervised training, task of computer vision, the typical task of a computer vision such as classification or object detection is a lot easier to annotate compared to a language task. A typical task for language is like summarization, translation, sentiment analysis, question and answering. And if you think about it, it's a lot harder to create large data set for this kind and for these kind of tasks. So at that time, the computer vision had a lot more data, quality data, for supervised training tasks. And that was the main reason why at that time computer vision was the pioneer of AI. That was the subject that was pushing AI to new bleeding edge. But Around 2016, 2017, a new player came into existence, self-supervised learning. In fact, self-supervised learning had existed before that time, but efficient methods of doing self-supervised learning came about that time. And the idea is pretty simple, at least the base idea. There are many different versions of it. The base idea is that you have your data and you either perturb your data or mask it and then you ask your model to predict the portions that are masked. For example, in text, you have your text and you mask some parts of the text for, uh, te text, for example, words, and you ask your model to predict those words. Or for computer vision, you have an image and you mask portions of your image and you ask your model to predict those portions. Now, all of a sudden, you see why that task is a lot cleaner and more efficient to do for language because words have clear boundaries and you are predicting some unit that is very clean and clear and you have very clean data for it. Also, any kind of task now can be used as pre-training. So the whole internet is your playground now. Everything that is in form of a text, it could be human language, or it could be, for example, code.
But for computer vision, the task is not as clear because the model needs to predict the mask portion of the image at a pixel level. This is a very hard task to do, and in fact, it's quite unreasonable to expect the model to do it. Even a human cannot do that very well at a pixel level. So all of a sudden, the ease of creating pre-training data set for language and vision switched. And you can see clearly, if you track the pattern of the papers that were published, all of a sudden, the language models and the papers released in language became the pioneer. So you can see that this subject, the subject of transfer learning, is really, really instrumental in AI. Of course, one might note that the model architectures such as tra uh, Transformer also had a big role and that is definitely accurate. But if you compare, for example, vision and language, Transformer apply, applies to both modality. In fact, we do have models for both modalities these days. But it's still language is much ahead because of having large pre-training data sets. So transfer learning is super important. Now, in this story, you might ask what, what comes next? Will vision be able to get back its crown? And the answer is probably not. And the answer is multimodal.